Hi guys, so today is, hold on, let me see, today is Wednesday, May 23rd, May 23rd, and um, I don't think I'm vlogging tomorrow, because tomorrow is the first day I'm going to be alone with Hope, because my sister has been off of work because she's a nurse and that's just how her schedule is and plus my mom took Monday off just to get me acclimated with our own our other two pet dogs and then hope acclimated together um, so yeah I need to focus on her tomorrow and I need to not worry about picking up the camera um, Wait, is today Wednesday? Okay, today is Wednesday. So Thursday is going to be the first day that I'm alone with my puppy. Um, and by the time you're seeing this, it's gonna be Friday, but I just, I need to just vent for a second because I, I don't know. Okay, so we all know I have a disability, right? That's. 95% of what my channel is about and we all know that I'm physically limited limited limit limited limitation limited limit limited um, I'm physically limited also as I am like a little bit you know mentally limited learning disabilities you know whatever all that anxiety depression whatever so okay so I knew that getting a dog would be difficult, but I didn't think it would be this hard. Um, now, let me preface this by saying I'm not, I know a lot of people would be grateful for their family letting them bring home a dog because I know a lot of people are in different situations and all that. But just because that happens doesn't mean my feelings and my concerns are invalid. So let me just preface that. But anyway, um, like, I feel overwhelmed. I feel like I'm not living my own life. It's weird. Like, I, I'm so overwhelmed that it's like, I don't know what to do. And it's not really the training because we haven't really even started because she needs to know her name. It's not the service dog training because she needs to know her name and she needs to be potty trained and she needs to, you know, socialize with my dogs a little bit and she needs to eat on a schedule and, and you know, go in the crate at night time and, you know, whatever else she needs to do. But, like, it's just, it's like, I can't physically... We've been trying to take her out to go to the bathroom every hour for the past couple of days, and she's only had, like, three or four accidents in the house, um, which is not bad. I mean, it just, um, I think, um, aside from the bigger ones, some of the little ones that she's had, is that when people get her excited and, like, either either coming to meet her or, like, you know, getting her out of the crate, like, she dribbles a little bit and gets excited, like, and she pees, you know? Anyway, but I don't know, I just, I'm, and I'm watching so many videos on, like, how to potty train and how to stop from biting and all this stuff, and it's just, I'm overwhelmed because I can't physically get up and walk her on a leash, and, you know, she doesn't walk on a leash, but, yet, but, like, I can't, not drag her outside, but I can't take her outside and try to teach her on how to walk on a leash and all this stuff because I physically can't do it. And I know, I know I'm going to get a comment and said, well, if you physically can't do it, then you shouldn't have got a dog. Well, no, I didn't get a dog to, I got a dog to help with my mental state. And I know that sounds contradictory because I'm saying that I'm overwhelmed with the dog but I'm but I've said for months and months and months that I want the dog I do want the dog I just want her to be out of this puppy stage because I'm just so like overwhelmed I don't know I just don't 
I don't know. I feel useless. And then, like, my OCD brain is like, oh, my God, she's got to go outside. She's got to go outside. She's got to do this. She's got to do that. What is she getting into? Blah, blah, blah. And my whole family is like, just calm down. We're all working the best we can. You know what I mean? It's it's very hard. And, and I know that it'll get better. And I know that we just have to wait it out. And, you know, she's already one of the smartest things because she just does things that, like, would make her smart, like, she knows her potty spot, pretty much, I mean, like, I'll take her outside, we'll, we'll go outside together, and she goes to the same spot all the time, I don't know, I just, I don't know, and she does so good in the car, she's, hello, hi, hold on, it's just overwhelming, but I'll know I'll get through it, right now, she spent a little bit of time in her crate, because, I needed a break because I got a little overwhelmed and it just, it's better for her to go in the crate so I can have a break. Um, I know it'll get easier as she gets older and the weeks go by. Um, these first couple weeks are a little tough, but um, if you guys have any puppy tips for like potty training, and, like if you guys are in wheelchairs and you potty train your dog in your wheelchair, like you know, did you have help from somebody? Did you do all the work? Like, am I missing something here that I should be doing? Um, I'm open to constructive criticism. Don't yell at me and say, oh, you're doing that completely wrong. Don't have her do that, da 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 you know? Like, but just be nice about it, you know what I mean? Um, yep, she's eating dinner now, and I'm gonna end the video here because this isn't uploaded, and it's going up tomorrow. All right, guys. Have a good day. Bye.